I've never had a whole lot of patience. Ever since I can remember being excited about something, I also remember my countdown rings. I'm not sure if it was something the nuns taught me in Catholic preschool or something my mom came up with for her own peace after I wouldn't stop asking her when vacation started. I used rings while I waited for school to end. I used rings to count how many black belt trainings I had left. So this summer, when I had roughly 90 days living at home and working left before college, the rings were a must-have. The ever-present college freshman summer limbo left me feeling the most impatient I've ever been. Days went by impossibly slow, but also somehow fast. And now, we're finally here. I've always wanted pink hair, but it was never allowed due to karate's dress code. So the first thing I did before moving away and out of this dress code was dye my hair pink. To be clear, it's not like I was tortured this summer. There are things that I will miss. Mostly my cats, Mia and Kipper. I am truly a huge fan of theirs, and as I write this script, I wonder if I will cry for them or if I will be too excited. If you don't know me, I have an inexplicable thing for cats. I cry about my love for them often, so this is a big thing for me. I'm also gonna miss my room. I didn't find a ton of decorations for my dorm, but it feels wrong to gut this room and bring it to Madison. I think I'm gonna hand the mic over now because I imagine I'm starting to lose my mind with excitement. All right, guys, I finished my hair. Who's ready for the big reveal? Yeah, you can't tell because it's still wet. Um, and I have like light brown hair, but anyway, you can kind of see it. It'll show up more when it's dry. Anyway, so hi. First time you're hearing my voice, you've heard voiceover voice. Anyway, it's moving day, finally. Oh my God, I've, I've had that little ring since 40 days, all right? I only started filming at 15 because I thought that'd be a cute montage, but oh my God. I have been waiting for so long and I'm so excited. We leave at three. It's 10.25. I don't know, we don't leave at three. That's when we move in, but we're gonna leave at like one-ish, a little bit earlier probably. And yeah, basically what I'm doing is putting away the stuff that I like have not been able to pack up until now. So like my phone charger and stuff. Um, so that's all packed. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much all. Good buddy. You shut up. God, you're the worst. Aww. What? They're loop trading. Why wouldn't they trade? You're gonna have to leave if you want to. I had originally planned and hoped to have recorded a lot more of the actual move-in, you know, because that was what the video was supposed to be, um, but I ended up feeling very ill. I almost passed out and had to sit um, in front of the fan with liquid IV for a while while my parents lofted the beds. So there's not actually a lot of the actual move-in, so sorry if that's what you clicked on the video for, but there will be a tour later, so kind of stick around for that. In, and now we're here. 
Um, I didn't record us locking our beds or like literally I'm mostly unpacked. I just have to decorate, but I don't have my decorations. I'm like so <laughs> because my parents drove away with them. Mort just went to the store and the store and the store was her brother's apartment. She just stole from him. You know what? Yeah. That might be fake news. I think pretty much Inez is the only one who's gonna watch this. So Inez, update on the bathrooms. Um, OCD update actually. They have air dryers, which I heard once have germs. Did you hear that too much? I did. I, I don't know. use them. I know, I don't either. <laughs> so that is really upsetting. I've been away. She goes, I'm here. 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 I'm Going, <laughs> and I was like, I'm okay, here's the tour. So we walk in. We have my closet. We have the Twinks closet. Your your clothes look. They have a better color scheme going on than mine. It's it's a mess over there still though. I barely unpacked anything. Yeah, she and my stuff is also over there. Yeah. I know. I really. You should have seen my parents. They literally took over the entire space. <laughs> Here's all my medications. Actually, that's a lie. There's some in the fridge too. Anyway, there's our food, there's my food. Mort has actually like real food. This is under the loft. I have this lamp. It pussy slates. I can't get it on. There we go. I have this lamp. I have these mugs that I'm gonna put stuff in. Oh my God. I have my essential oil diffuser. I'm gonna just turn on the light. Did I say it wrong? Oh. And then some earrings. I brought your earring thing that you made me. And you, my sharps container. <laughs> this is my side with um, the MILF candle, of course. Oh, wow. We are not overhead lighting bitches. Yes. It's giving cunt. I have a plant. I lost a plant. I literally just dropped it, but I still have the pot. I'll, find, I'll just like steal a plant somewhere. And then I have my cat. And then here's Mort's plants. We'll do, we'll do a greater tour in depth later. It's the Twinks again. So right now we just had our RA meeting. She honestly looked like she was done with life a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Now we're waiting to go to a Bob Ross painting social outing. And Mort is already breaking the rules, not with her gnomes, but with her wax. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to live my best life. Twinks. I put up the garland, it slays. I had filmed a tour uh, about a week after we moved in, after my decorations got in, but it's it's really annoying, and also it's not quite what the dorm really looked like for most of the year, so I'm just going to insert some pictures and some videos of what the dorm looked like and spare you all from this just atrocious tour. You're welcome.